this uh, song I'm not the title screen because I'm pretty sure that music is copyrighted so I can't really start it from there or else y'all won't be able to hear me but this is Life is Strange Before the Storm this is the little extra stuff I'm pretty sure you play as Chloe in this one and this is whenever Max left like this is what happened with her after Max left so William died I don't know if Joyce met David yet or David's in the picture but I'm playing this like a day after I, I uploaded Life is Strange episode 5. I really wanted to, you know, get into this. I was pretty excited about this. And I'm guessing this is Chloe. And that's kind of loud in my ear. I'm pretty sure this is Chloe. Our badass... Badass team... Hey, bro, are you gonna... There she is with her brown hair. This is before she did anything with her hair. So her hair is brown. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes. But I don't think that's the same actress that Mom played as um if she knew I was out here. original Chloe. Oh that walk speed walk animation. I see you Chloe. Gangsta. <laughs> hey, we don't have any powers in this either, so this is kinda of, this is like we don't have the time travel shit anymore. <laughs> wow. I saw so Arnold shit. I don't know. We don't have any time travel stuff, so that means we won't even be able to go back in time to fix anything. This if we place mess is up. awesome. Awesome indeed, Chloe. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. Bet. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. Why are you running like that? <laughs> it's an old lumber car. Guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. You miss. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. It's not a bad fake, kid, but you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. What? That didn't work. <clears throat> Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and nothing says badass like a nice floral print? I might just leave in the music, the dialogue, for the guy. If I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. <laughs> Bloody steak, thousand, lost a thousand, Damon Merrick. Those guys need to get a room. Wow. Or not. Damn. Damn. Mind your own business. You shut up. I'm oh, sorry. I understand, I understand, really, and, and, and it won't ever happen. Wait, is this, uh, is this Frank's? This RV's just begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will see me. Is this Frank's RV? I'm pretty sure it is, right? Ooh, graffiti. Now, what to draw? Not a meth lab, free candy! Hey kids! Free candy. Wow. Nuts. <laughs> Guess fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. Nope. Ponder. Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just might leave all this music in like for this episode just for this part because it's a lot god again what do you want kid i want in let me inside now you started a back talks challenge okay i have to convince this doorstop that i'm not giving up until he lets me inside 
In back talk, you use arguments and outsaws to get someone to do what you want. Okay. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Um. Isn't it past your bedtime? <clears throat> oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> To succeed, pay attention to what the opponent says. So the word bedtime is the key word. Your bedtime, no bedtime, do me a solid. So they pick a comeback that reflects the word back at them. So no bedtime or your bedtime. Let's do your bedtime. Aww. I gotta fill. Isn't it past <clears throat> yours? <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Cute. Again, listen to your opponent's words. So the word cute. I don't do cute. Cute is relative. So I don't do cute. Look at my face. Do I look cute, or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Now, let me in. This isn't a playground. Fine, I'll sneak. Sometimes the right choices are more difficult to pick out. Playground is a good response to kid. All right. Maybe I am a kid, because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. I don't need protection. Is the word protection? Flowers on your bike, a girl like me, I'm not worried. Flowers on your bike? A girl like you with pretty, pretty flowers on her bicycle shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a traditional Samoan. <laughs> 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 Look, my boss decides who gets in, alright? Fuck your boss. Look the other way, who's your boss? Bosses suck. Bosses suck. I won. Screw the man and fuck the rules, dude. You're, you're not accepting no for an answer, are you? No. <laughs> you, said you really it, think you can take me? Yeah. Uh, what if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> oh, wow. I give up. <laughs> you're all right, kid. Go on in. A motherfucking dragon on a leash. <laughs> Outrageous. Yeah, this I'm just have to leave intense. all this. All right, don't interrupt me, folks. <laughs> oh. Hey, Delia. Come. Delia. Cute dog. I'm gonna just leave the music in. Because this is a, probably gonna be a long segment. It's already the start. So I'm probably might as well just gonna have to leave this in. There's no point on not leaving it in. Only for this episode though. I'll make an exception. Weren't you just outside? Just follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and throw. Never pay. Can I pet that dog? <laughs> Aww. She doesn't usually like people. Well. Yeah. Me neither. Lol. Hey, but wake up. Sober up, girl. You're missing the show. She did. Can I pet that dog? <laughs> Give me. Twenty bucks, baby. Twenty bucks? That's robbery. Don't call and me don't baby. Call me baby. <laughs> For real. Fine. Twenty bucks, thief. Oh, okay. That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. Bet. Let's break a window. No, 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 no. I can tell. Damon Merrick again. Who is this guy? Don't mess with David Merrick. I'll mess with you. Parking brake. <gasps> no parking. Yeah. This side no is shit. Wow. This car could slide down any minute. Let's do it. Sorry, dude. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. You don't overcharge ever again. Down we go. Shit. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh. R.I.P. Thanks for playing, dick. Oh. Now give me this. Oh, yeah. Sweet, sweet victory. What did I just stick that? What was that? That's like 200 bucks. Oh my god. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What? 
the action will have consequences. Holy shit! I'm rich. But I don't think I should have done that. A bong. Nothing sadder than a neglected bong. Don't ask me how I know that. I don't smoke. I just watch movies that involve smoking. Don't you judge me, spooky deer head. I'm here for the band. For reals and the grills. Sketch Central. I hate your neck. Oh, there it is. I don't want to do that just yet. Take a bear. Drink more, feel less. Yes, please. Sweet. Oh! For you, it is Frank. What's up, Frankie do? Yo, Frank. Hey. What's up, Frank? Chloe? I know your name, you idiot. You oh, bought wow. pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up. <laughs> Studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm here from the band, bro. I'm here to see Firewalk, man. They rock. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? Shindig? Ha, the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. <laughs> Do you come here a lot? How about some... Okay, so you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. I'm surprised you can say something about money. Tossing a dime Got bag some cash. Square. Hey, hey, what are you waving around this kind of money here for? You really don't think before you act, do you? Nope. So where's my pot? I gave you no all that loans. 200. I'm not your fucking piggy bank. You're a good man, Frank. No. I'm not. I believe you are. Now beat it, Price. You're cramping my style. Oh. Cool. So, you come here a lot, or...? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Right. It's cool. I'm really glad you approve. I'll see you later. Whatever. Bye, Frank. I'll miss you. I'm <laughs> sorry. No thanks. Ugh. I try to avoid hepatitis when I can. Reminds me of the way I make important life choices. All right, let's just go see this band. Saw play. Dang, both dead. That's totally me in five beers. While you're drinking one right now. Okay, three. Three steps and you're dead on the ground. Here we go. Almost there. Damn! Oh. Fuck. Uh, hi. Hey. You okay? I'm fine. Relax. You bumped into me, remember? I'm apologize. Yep. My bad, dude. You don't know who I am, dude. Are you this nope. Damon Maverick? Don't care that either. That people talk about. Let me know how that works out for you. Bitch. That's hey, don't call me that. All right. Mosh pit is a no-go. Fine. Maybe New dialogue. Maybe I can get a better view of the action from up above. Dialogue from who? From Frank? Hi, Frank. She returns. Hey, Frank. Ah. Where did the stairs go? Where do those stairs go? Uh, up. Thanks, Frank. Real helpful, Frank. I mean... Will I get a better view of the band up there? How the fuck should I know? <sighs> Buffs rotted all to hell, okay? No one goes up there. Fine. Did you see that guy I ran into? Acted like I was supposed to know who the hell he was. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Damon Maverick. He works for Damon. Oh, he Damon works Merrick? for him. Not Maverick, Merrick. I see you've heard of him. This is his place. Damon's a friend of mine. No, it's what, he's not David I'll Merrick. See you later. He's someone else. Whatever. Bro, stop saying that. I'm going up. Oh, this 
shot there. That was nuts.
Rituals are important. Max. Even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Well, Max didn't forget you. She just, you know, didn't forget you. Our very own Pacific Steve's famous crab is shutting its doors. It's just the raven. Ain't a way. Ew. I don't like it. Oh. Oh no, I changed bro. No. I pressed the wrong button. Can't leave without my vitamins. I thought I said without my victims. Oh. My weed. What's that? I really should. Enough with all this Shit. copyright. Where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe's, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. Why would you say it like that? <laughs> with moms. All right, finally, no more copyrighted okay. music. Okay, mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, oh, yeah. then figure out where the hell I left it. All right, here goes mom's phone. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Outrageous. Are you gonna... I hear it. I hear it. This sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. Right side. It's in here. I'm so smart. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Mom, Elliot, Frank, Max. Mom. Will you be joining us for supper? No thanks. Will you be coming home at some point tonight? Chloe, where will you be home by curfew? There will be consequences. Elliot. I spent this test sucked. Lucky if I pass. Oh, low C and so no, I think I did okay. Cool. What you up to? Not much. Got shit to do later. Oh, okay. You finished the camera work? No, dude. That's the third time. I already know everything. Sure you do. Wait, what? Wait, Frank. She's here. Oh yeah, but tapped out. Sorry, your loss. Hey, you hold it for me for a day. Can I? I'm your favorite customer. Are you Frank? You're ho you holding. You still owe. 
You can have me whacked. Yes, please joke about that over text. Um, you do drugs on this phone. Anyway, come on. It's 420. I'll meet you. Is it really 420? What is 420? Well, the date. I'll meet if you have the cash. I'll rain check. And max. So sorry, I've been bad about emailing. Texting is better for me anyway. Yo, it's Max. How's it going? You there? Can't. God, yeah, sorry again. I've been really busy. You love Seattle more in a bit. Cool. Maybe some HR League in my future. Hey, Hippie. I'm so sorry. I'm very wicked. Maybe we should set up a time to call. No worries. I'll check my dance card. It's 7 p.m. in Arcadia Bay. What is it in 2019 in Seattle? I know, right? Maybe this weekend. Sure. Anytime. Let me know. Yo, Queen from the Cruise. What's the latest, Max? Such a busy, busy person. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You kind of have that bruise down here. I think I saw face, mom's bro. purse in her room. Oh, where else would it be, Chloe? Oh, there it is. <clears throat> Wait, no, it's there. Now it's time to look around. Oh, time for. Can you grab my cell phone too? Joyce, you're gonna make me very angry. No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. You. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. <gasps> You're quite wiggly, making me angry. Outrageous. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. I don't want to. Dining table. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I just got see what Mom Joyce wants before she strokes out. I just got to the dining table. Hey mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? I ran it's to a no door. Deal. Oh. I walked into a door. Bro, I seem I'm... to be walking into a lot of doors lately. <laughs> First, I'm a teenager. I just know what's going to happen. When just I send you simple. a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. I have my phone. You I can just now. say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. We tell about? Sorry, I'll do better. I was sleeping. What are we? I was sleeping. I didn't get your text until just now. Oh, you make it so hard to trust you. Wow. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? This is David. David's school. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You I used don't to like love school to either. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. David. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe, you don't hate he him. He calls me Says girly. Who? He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. L-O-L. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. That's nah. something. I'll just grab something later. No, I'm hungry right now. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you going to eat? He's kind of fat. I'll enjoy that, huh? <clears throat> Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. I'm sorry. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you? Saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? It kinda and helps. I do know what pot smells like, you know. Oh, uh, I... Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. Sorry. I'm worried. I am but sorry. But, Mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed Pardon. in me. Well, Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. All right. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left to know. Maybe David could help. Wait, what? Maybe David should start paying rent. 
He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. What? He's a good man. What? Maybe he can help. What? David was a good man. <laughs> oh, Dad was a good man, not David. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. That's but do I have to call her out like that? David's had some hard times too, <coughs> you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. Like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. LOL. When he takes you to school today. What? Very funny. You will be nice. You will be respectful. And you will say thank you. Are I'll you try serious? To. This is such what, Chloe? Such what? Nothing. <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Be understanding, say what you feel. I need to say what I feel. You want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly, oh, and... If oh. your father could hear you. No, you're right. I'm sure Dad and the mustache would get along great. The it's mustache. A big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. Oh! That's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? Oh, I, I thought I you were just talking about upset, but... I miss you. Kind of ran off on a ramp. I replaced your father. I did the best I could. Oh. Mom, I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. Right. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. I'm so bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating uh, thing Mom could ask me to do. I tried pressing L2 to try reverse time, but I can't. Here they are. I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't mean it. I want to press L2 so bad. Let's get these to David so he can drive away. This will defend. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I better get going. So you don't have a... Oh. Yeah, you thought. Hey, is this Chloe? This is Steph Gr... Jing... Gingrich? Hey. Heard your I have your DVD. You can get it from before school. You can get it before school. Thanks. All right. Bye, 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 bye. What's up, David? What a piece of crap. Wow. The car too. <laughs> Elite. Hi. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? Whoa! We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. <laughs> Repeatedly. Hope he did. <laughs> Chloe, is that a black eye? No. no. Insubordination. <laughs> no wonder your mother's worried about you. Um, hey. That's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Okay. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Oh, wow. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites. Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. You gonna uh, tell me a size, or you just gonna tell me a socket wrench? What is this? Quality time? <laughs> Ugh. Better just get the socket. Why are you so slow? What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? 
Does he think he's moving in or something? I think so, bro. I can't even lie. Open toll box. Socket wrench. Is that in there? Yes, it is. 50 50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60 40. Maybe 90 10. Is there any more socket wrenches? Wait, what does I say? Toolbox. Graffiti. Graffiti the toolbox. In my garage, it gets my special treatment. What message does David really need to hear? Intruder box of <laughs> intruder. Got it. Intruder alert. That, that's literally the number four backwards. Alright. I'll see if I can find any other types. Mysterio. What is that? Camera. Box of dad stuff. A photo. Lawnmower. Toolbox. Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Cute. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. What? <laughs> Alright. David. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. All right, you're banned. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Pot. No shit. Hey, yeah. Uh... No, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. Yeah. All right. Now what? Why are you looking at me like that? All right, I'll give you a Fine. fist bump, David. Whatever. Sweet teamwork and all that. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. We already have one. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> What's so funny? The way we go. Ready to roll? Sure. Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I Please. want to talk to you about something. Fuck. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. That's not so a vacation. There are some things I want to be real clear about. Shut this down, ignore and endure. Might as well. Mm hmm Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use. Why it's making it everything there? harder for her. You need to shape up. Get your act together. And put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Don't ever say that again. Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? <laughs> uh, say nothing, got it, sure. Got it. Thanks. We should really get going. Glad we understand each other. Sure. Your head looks like Play Doh. <laughs> Dango Plato hit. So I might just do the same thing I did for Life is Strange 1, I guess. I'll just do the same thing. What? Country music? <laughs> Dad loved this song. Just call to tell you that I miss you, my friend. 
I might just leave the music in for this. I don't know if copyright will actually affect it or not. Well, it will obviously, but having the music in here is good. What a beautiful day. Because I don't like the all the quiet parts either. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. Okay. I guess mom left her purse back here. Bro, that's literally dad on the road. Dad, turn it up. What? Wait, what? Wait, wait. Oh my. We died. GD's chat. We ain't making it out that one. I don't know if there's a setting to actually just turn off the music in general. I might look for that after this episode. Because I know there's a setting like that in Life is Strange 2. I don't know if there's one in this. Hey. The hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. I'm sorry. Whatever, thanks. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Um, oh, okay. Hello? I was actually saying I see everything. You know what, bro? Leave. I don't like I'll you anyways. Is he not a security officer yet then? Hello, Black Hell. Yeah, I don't think he's the the officer, the head security officer then, like now. The oh. Elliot. Hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? No. Do you need to go to the nurse or something? No. What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. How do people know? Who exactly is talking shit about me? You know, haters on social media. Haters on Great. my blog. I wish I could tell everyone to just get a life. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. No. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? No. <laughs> no. No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Me too. I guess you you like me. All right. You like Chloe. See you in Cam. Yeah, for sure. I don't like you. Your hair is Play-Doh. I made him upset. I'm sorry, Elliot. Gotta track down Doesn't Steph. Doesn't know to review. I've still got time. Oh, class. get DVD from Steph. That's actually cool, bro. I'm literally. Hey, I'm at the picnic tables with Mikey. Thanks. I'm away. Huh? Huh? The figure. Is that Victoria? Oh my God. Oh, Carrie Price. It's Chloe. Oh right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Rachel Amber Vertex Club. The Vortex Club is still a thing? Wait, what about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. Nanya. Tell what we murdered a man. 
I was saying that. It was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing. We murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously, though. I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, hey, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. Why oh, you talk to me then? Stop charging your homework. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. No problem. Chloe. You failed, bozo. Let's see who else I can mess with. Nobody. Gotcha. Back over here I go. Hi, guys. Who y'all playing? Dungeons and Dragons? If let I had known the Celestial play. Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? Let me play, it's let me play. Tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Try me. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Let me play, let me play. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even oh, asked for the director's on. cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. I wish I could do that. Right on. Hey, <laughs> right on, do Dave. Do you know if Rachel's a gamer? <laughs> Rachel all, oh, Amber? Ra Ra Rachel, bro. You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? What's it to you? We're not friends. What's it to you, bro? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join our game. Yeah. Die. I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes. What else have you got to do before class? You are right indeed. Let me play. What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. What? <laughs> Why is that funny? I'm totally an elf barbarian. Less I am, bro. Nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know. I'm good. All right. Course, Shirley. Let's get started. You are both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elama, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Averna. I am... Um... Introduce your character. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named uh, Chloe Barb Calamastia. That sounds badass. Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes. Hold on. Elamon narrows his what? eyes at the elf in front of him and says. I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? 
According to my character sheet, I once made a man kebab. Well, according to my character sheet... It says right here that I taught your precious King Tiberius everything he knows about fighting. So, Alamon, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? You gave her that elf barbarian. I did. Wow. Elamon bows deeply. I've heard of you in the castle. King Tiberius owes you his life. It's an honor to fight alongside you. Let's go. Damn straight. <laughs> you stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgeron, the unscarred. Uh -huh. Which way do you go? Straight right. ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. For real, for real. Your choice, newbie. We can't fight Dur Dur Where do you wish to go? We're too weak. We uh, let's go to the prison camp and free Guess the prisoners. it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. What? He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Hey, bro, ah, get those back. Okay. Hey, shit face. Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Tempt with bread, pick, his, pick the lock, intimidate. Intimidate? That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. Oh, wow. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Perfect. Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back. His scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? A giant of pussy shoes, a meat puppet. Meat puppet. I wiggle my hand. Hey, Dragon King guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove my arm up your ass into your head, and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. What? Uh, he doesn't seem to like that idea. Neither do I. The dragonkin pleads with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgeron, much taller and meaner than you. Could make you shorter, could make you taller. Die of old age, could make you shorter. You're short, I, I say. But you can always get shorter. Give me the key, or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death with them. The dragonkin cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does uh, that uh, sound? Oh. Uh, wow. That was nuts. I'm going to give you a plus 10 bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small pool of urine collects under the elderly wow. dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then, it dies of fear. Wow. Awesome. Yeah! Go team! Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? Warlord's tent, the training ground. 
Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Oh. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All now yours. What? Fatal Cleave, Pommel Strike, Knee Slam. Uh, let's do Pommel Strike. I do a Pommel Strike. I strike his Pommel hard. Wow. <laughs> um, what did I say? A Pommel is the end of a sword handle. Pommel Strike is where you hit the guy with it. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I do that. Except you're not wielding a sword. You're wielding an axe. Oh. This sucks. It's all right. Try using your- You've delayed too long. The orc swings his warhammer at your head, barely missing your move. All right, let's do fatal cleave. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. There you go. Fuck yeah, I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. God dang it, wizard. You'll pay for this. We all make mistakes. Don't worry, Alamon guy. We all make mistakes. Alamon nods. Calamastia, nods. the elf Nodded. barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. What's Mission. next? Now we take on that warlord. It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Those Well. A bull. Sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, minotaur. Swathed in a fine black cloak. Gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. L-O-L, dude. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. Will it? You are weak. Oh. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Oh. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? Annihilation Strike, Raffle Rush, Brutal... Annihilation Strike. Oh, holy shit! Uh, Annihilation Strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? Ain't no way. That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto it's the ground bad. in a clangy jumble of metal. It's your axe terrible. swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Come on, Mikey. Oh no. Three. A Your three axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um legs. Plural. Severing so both feet at the ankles. No. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. My controller is rattling. Fault. Sort of. What should I do? Hold up. All right, I needed to make sure the game was still recording. Uh, dance, jump in front of Elamon, encourage him. Jump in front of him. I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. No problem, dude. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Thanks, no okay. problem, dude. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. 
Shit! Oh, no. What? Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, oh. lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. And we're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. It should. What do you do? All right. Swing for his head. Swing for his arm. If I swing for his arm, the bracer comes off. If I manage to chop it off, and then Elamon can use the fire. Go. I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Please. 20. Let's go. Fuck yes. <laughs> Rob's hyped. I'm down actually into this. Chop. Severing his arm completely, his bracer of fire immunity clings to the ground. I cast Gignomi's fire strike of flame. Please, Ooh, let's go. Snap. Lying on the ground, you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgeron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Let's go. Damn, Durgeron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. Did we just die? I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. Oh. I actually feel sad right now. <laughs> Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious You just drew skills. that? Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. We'll the, the dragon's riz. Oops. <laughs> Thanks for the game, nerds. W in the chat, the we killed him. Check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. What is with the sensitivity right now, bro? I'm literally tripping on acid. What a way. <laughs> My shoes are messed up. What, what the uh, hell? What have you got here? Is that Nathan? Don't call me that. True Nathan. North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Take it elsewhere, you're both losers. Wanna take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone! You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! I'm not doing anything. Those are all the last stuff I heard from the last game, the first game, well, the second game technically. Nathan was a bad dude. I'm staying out of this. Hey. If you don't take the time to stand back and watch, you miss some of life's finer moments. Like... Kobe! Booyah! That. <laughs> that took me months to put together! Quit the team, Twitch. Or next time it'll be worse. Go to hell. Uh... You should be ashamed. Bro, you could have done something. Why are you why what? What's wrong with you? You think I care about Nathan Prescott? No. I don't like how we left things we were talking about it like perfect. Is that a sarcastic perfect? No. Don't lie, yes it was. <laughs> you liar. <laughs> that pick would actually make a smell. Marijuana tattoo. Is there, I kill us. 
kind of would. I can't even lie. Rachel. Oh, good. You're here. Bro, why are you always here? Yeah, Rachel was the, the girl that we were looking for. Then turns out she died, and I got all sad and upset, and I started crying. Yeah, that's what happened. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a Dana? time I have listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. Hayden. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating. Sorry, Dana. And to your other fellow actors. And most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. Whoa. This is getting as surreal <clears throat> as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. I don't like Mr. Keaton, new voice actors. I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. What? What you brought me into? The question is... Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? She's what do you think? Banging other dudes. Miranda's an idiot. It's true love. I guess. Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Do what? Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow. A romantic and a cynic. That actually kind of helps me. Thanks. Are you Dana or are you not Dana? Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Victoria Taylor wasn't Rachel invited to your sleepover last night I was wondering where she was Steph Byrne so Victoria oh no I didn't mean it like that so much fun Alyssa this was really intelligent this is a really intelligent conversation who the hell is De Deborah Borgen <laughs> was there more stuff on here that I could have looked at I have fe <laughs> yeah. theater kids take themselves so seriously Rachel Amber playing Prospera 
A newcomer to Blackwell Academy, Rachel Amber blew the doors off her audition with a heartbreaking reading of Blanche from Tennessee Williams, a streetcar named Desire. Other interests include the include athletes, debate team, bar, boosters, fundraising, local history, and nature. Rachel hopes to find one day, wait, two, one day, wait, Rachel hopes to one day grace the stage of Broadway and the silver screen of Hollywood. And this is Dana Ward, Hayden Jones, Julia Watson, Travis Keaton. Steph Greenwich, Tech Guru, Sound Design, Programmer. Now I know, yeah. All right, let's bring this belt. What's uh, good? Rachel, is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Are you? Oh, I'm bringing it to her. Here you go, Rachel. Oh! Why'd it get so quiet? That's a cool costume, say nothing. I really liked your costume. Oh. Thanks. So? Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? What? I'll owe you. Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. Alright. I'll let you finish changing now. Wow. It's only been like a day and a half. Chloe Price. Rachel. Rachel Amber. W outfit, Rachel. Last night was amazing. Firewalk was pretty good. Getting attacked was amazing. You call getting attacked by goons amazing? Goons? I've got to hang out with you more. Deal. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? That's deep. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. How'd you even get exactly. in? Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? So, yes, has Rachel Amber gone rogue? Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Great idea, no way. Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. Respect. Let's get the hell out of here. You would have this for like all th three of the episodes. This is only three episodes. And then the bonus one. Here's the bonus one is just with um, Chloe and Max whenever they were younger, younger. Before William died. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus or. Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. On a train? Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Well, let's go. Hey, Chloe, you need to pick up the piss. Go. Oh. Wow, Rachel. Where Amber. does this thing go? Nobody knows. North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. I'm sorry, what? Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. We don't have chairs, we have boxes. Sorry, Elliot. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Hey, why weren't you in cam? Everything okay? Yes. Yep. I heard you went down with Drew and Nathan. Did you see it? Yo, let's talk later. Okay. Yeah, leave me alone, Elliot. I'm too busy getting banged with Maybe one of these crates. Rachel Ember. I hell, I would Seems love to do something like looks. this. Yes, I Can should I sit just down. sit next to you? There's my chair. 
Yeah. Just another typical day, skipping school. With Rachel right, Ammo. Chloe, you're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Were you just having a staring contest? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here, so I could ask. You should probably know more about Should about I make it. small talk? Is that what people do? Nice weather, say nothing, uh... Nice weather. It's nice Rachel we're having. What? <laughs> what? I mean weather. It's nice weather. You just sold, Chloe. It sure is. Nice Rachel we're having. So, I would say I can't even lie. it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. No. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Mr. Keaton say thanks, remain silent. Thanks. Hey, so... I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, no. dummy. Thanks for oh. last night. Ah. Uh, if you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Wow. I'm gonna need more than that. I love company. Try yeah. again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun? Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. You are an outrageous soul. Let's do something fun. Fun? Agree, flirt. Uh, I don't know, flirt. V card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well, I don't know. Wow. Uh, okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. Oh. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, the and way. one of which is a lie. Bingo! Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. My chest hurts. It sounds fun. Sounds fun. You're on. Oh, my chest hurts so bad. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Well. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. Okay. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? What's a Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. What? And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. I believe it. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? I don't think you were born in New York. You don't look like it. You seem more like a Cali girl to me. Damn, Price. Not bad. Oh! Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so nothing to compare it to, I guess. I'm so smart. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay, your turn, Price. First fact, right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? 
or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Let's do a live first. I broke my hand punching someone. I'm allergic to cats. I'm in a band. I broke my hand punching someone. I once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski in fifth grade. No way. Bitch took my yoo -hoo. Knocked her the fuck out. I see you like to write notes to yourself. Helps me stay focused. Also, sweet scar. What? Now let's try truth. Country music makes me throw up. I love science. I wanted to be a pirate as a kid. I love. I wanted to be. I a used pirate. to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. And let's tell another truth. I love science. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. All right. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. What are you doing? Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's That's where thing. she got hella from. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> so, pirate. Obviously true. Okay, you got that. R, be my first mate. Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh, are you accepting applications? Considering it. Okay, you say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. Mm-hmm. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. Sure, Blackwell, uh, yeah. That place is a hellhole filled with shit where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. Okay. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. She's so I'm smart. I'm gonna say true. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock Stephanie Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's gotta get got. Damn straight. But, you didn't get that scar from punching someone. No. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. What? What? How could you possibly know that? I broke my wrist when I was 10. Ah. Uh, the point is, I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like, from a skateboard? Yeah. I guess six years ago? Rachel Ember. Seven. Oh shit. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. You first. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. It's kind of creepy. I'm impressed. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm going to feel good about that one. You should. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket, then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations, second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. I would. Arg. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. Hate to break it to you, Kinda but is, Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. I trust you. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point.
Mine's so quiet. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Oh, more copyright. Listen alone. Share with Rachel. Hey, want to listen? Sorry guys. <laughs> cool bracelet. Cool I've hand. Had it, I guess. Here. Since I was a kid what? in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Let me hold your hand. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Like you're dead. Uh what? I hear you. Uh I hear you. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Wow. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. You do now. Don't be surprised, Chloe. If one day I'm just out of here. Whoa. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out. We're here. What? Where is here? Jump and find out. Did you say jump? Jump! Oh, I'm jumping. Fuck it. We. I'm building our Chloe, the one we know and love. I need some salted caramel rice cakes. You. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. What? Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. I don't act, games, acting, lying. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. All right. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we've got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. All right, Bo. I don't think it worked. That blows. Oh. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? I'm broke. Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh, yeah? Let's see what you got.
Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. Let's speak to you real quick. Do you have anything? Totally gonna get you that quarter. Love the confidence. Would love a quarter even more. Okay. Investigate. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Oh, it's already open a little bit. Let's pry it open with nothing. I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use. Bingo. Rochelle. Rochelle. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? That could work. I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh. Right. Sh sure, let's try it. Victoria, Chloe Price. Fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, uranium. Think I don't know that spells <laughs> the periodic table. I got in trouble for that. You carbon, uranium. Hold up. I can't even go up, bro. Let me read all of it. It's just going too quick. I got in trouble for that. Uranium, uranium, nitrogen, tin. You called me a cunz, a cunzin, huh? Tin is SN, funky bitch. So that you were R. <laughs> Let's do this. What? Damn it! It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. Nail file is not gonna work. Can I pry anything else open? I don't look at anything. Sorry, bruh. Let's... Raw! Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self-respect. What? You literally have no self-respect and all the pigeons come to eat. Bag. Bye, you fools. I see a bag. The stupid squirrels! Why'd they come back? Move out the way, I want that bag. You can't stop me. That's not even a bag. I'm actually dumb. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Why can't I screw this? In honor of Martin Lewis Prescott, Arcadia Prescott. Wait. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. I'm pretty sure she might need that back, bro. Steph. Hey, heads up. Wells is on the warpath. Oh, no. Wells. Oh, Principal Wells. Oh, no. Seriously? I'm just trying to help. Yeah, right. You killed me this morning. That's what the good morning does, dude. Also, thanks for playing with us. Mike had a blast. He's cool. He's been down lately. Not sure why, but I know playing with you really meant a lot. Of course, y'all. Really, it was actually pretty entertaining. I can't even lie. <laughs> Let's try this. First got power. Activate. Oh, no. Did it work? It worked. Well, okay. I found the quarter. Hi. Not to brag, game over. I don't want to boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. Thank you. All right, let's spy. I spy. That girl still at the tree. Rachel smells like Jasmine. Who? Is she smelling me right now too? Really should have showered this morning. You smell like weed. <laughs> All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. 
That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Grill. Where's people? She's just standing there. What a creep. There's literally nobody around. Woman. Sweet beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? Nature's Wi-Fi sucks looking at pictures. Nature's Wi-Fi sucks. Nature's Wi-Fi sucks. <laughs> Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. If only I can guess their password. We love nuts, 69. Dingoes ate our babies, 13. Too soon. <laughs> Dingoes <laughs> ate our babies, 13. <laughs> The hell's a dingo? <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? Super wedgie, stay away, bees. Stay away, bees. I hope bees don't mistake my shorts for begonia. I've been pollinated twice this week already. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we laughing? <laughs> Grill dad. Hmm. What's going on with these two? Child sacrifice hunting party. A child sacrifice. And the Lord saideth, Thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. Now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. Wow. That was dark. Too dark. Perfect dark. Hashtag it right now. Anyone else? This is fun. Who's next? Oh. That man has oh, seen the lady. Sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. <laughs> Jackpot. Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Oh. Nailed it. Damn. They are really going at it. Vibrating beds, prostitutes, uh, prostitutes. Wait, you're a prostitute? But I'm a prostitute. Now who gets paid? <laughs> Bro, what? Rachel? Uh, Rach? You okay? Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? What? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. I'm in. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. Sweet. I don't think... Okay. Was that like her mom or her dad? She just found out they were cheating. Or is that her boyfriend? Oh, they can't have be. a bottle of wine. She's literally been flirting with me this entire it. time, and I've been uh, doing the same. Okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead. No, you shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And fuck it, I just want to take something that's not mine. Okay. All right, I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh. oh my god. W actor, actress. Holy shit. Talk about committing to a performance. Better I act fast. Swipe it. Hi. Oh, thank God. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. Help, Rachel. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. Who are you waiting for? Go! Won't have to wait long. Sterilize the wound. Who's the one waiting? Won't have... Uh, I, I already called 911. 
They, they should have an ambulance here any moment. In the meantime, they said to keep close watch on her. Like, turn all the way around and really focus. I'm... Watch out. I'm going to check her pulse. That's on her neck, right? Pulse I neck. I still think you should go get help. There's help a ranger station ranger on the other side of the park. park. Good point. We'll keep watch while you go. Watch out for rabies. Here's some medicine. Watch her die. Uh, yeah, alright. That's good. That's good. I need one more. Already. This woman needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Stat. Uh, no. <laughs> yep. Definitely needs mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. Okay. Okay. You can do this. I can't do it. Pathetic. Bruh. Look, uh -huh. he's clearly useless. useless. This woman needs help from someone who actually knows what they're doing. Useless. Good semantics is contagious, encouraging platitude. This one? Okay, fine. Yes. I'm going. But when the police show up, I hope they don't arrest you. Arrest us? Good Samaritan law. Ever heard of it? It means you have to do everything in your power to help someone in trouble. Everything. God damn it. I'm going in. What? <laughs> Steal it. Ew, ew, ew. Hey, wow. I'm all better now. You saved my life. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Yeah. Good work, everyone. Peace out. Wow. That was incredible. You're a hero. Huh. I guess I am. You kissed out the girl. We're no longer involved with this date. <laughs> Whoa. Here, you earn this. Hand it over, no thanks. Uh, hand it over. Thanks. <laughs> Dang, bro. I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. Y'all are just chugging it down like there's no tomorrow. I don't think she's good. I am excessively sober right now. Blood what? Right. You literally had two chugs. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. The way you're walking means you kind of are, to be honest. We literally, you literally only had two chugs. <laughs> Where are we at now? Wait, are we are we at the junkyard? We are, aren't we? I recognize this railroad track. I'm a liar. I don't. <laughs> I recognize there's some stuff in the background. Whoa. Hey, check this out. What? We are at a the junkyard. What? This is how they found the. This is how she found the junkyard, and Reggie was there too. Pile of trash. Uh, Rachel, you're really putting on the yeah, move. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? It's about that person. I don't know who it was. Call her out, let her be. No, oh, let her be. Why are you so giddy? Chloe, I'd really like some space right now. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, 
Okay. Actually, no. I thought well, we were I'm having a that. great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. I understand. Yeah, I, I get it. I know I'm not the easiest person to be around. I don't exactly have tons of experience with the whole friendship thing. Not everything revolves around you, Okay. Louis. I didn't say it did. I'm just saying I understand. No, you really don't. Fuck! Oh! Uh, okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but... Apparently, she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Score. I'm back. Give Rachel a bat. Give Rachel a show. Hey, check it out. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer drinking it next to an old toilet. Boom! That was a Hold bad. On. Can I see? Oh. Sure. I asked you to leave me alone. Uh. Are you kidding me? Why would you do that to my bat? I, I know you're the school princess and all. With the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing oh, your perfect no. ass. But seriously, fuck you. Great. Wow. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! Why not? Sorry. Because, because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? A friendship, something more. I'm doing it. I mean, fuck. Are you actually going to make me say it? Say what exactly?
want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Proper tools. Fuck you, David. Oh. crying sweetheart oh you know why a bird because you're not real <laughs> I'm not no what is going on the tempests what's past is prologue and shit kiddo look on the bright side would ya what bright side you made a new friend today. Is that Rachel? It is. Move it. Graffiti hey. on the car. Where's my marker? I guess I did that. Yeah. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. Oh, there it is. The marker is stuck inside of the wine. Sometimes people need you, though. Rachel? 
even when they don't admit it. Oh my god. How much time am I going to get ran over by the truck? Huh? I understand how you don't wake up like traumatized after something you see like that. She woke up so peacefully, it's like, oh. Because when she doesn't like start screaming or anything, and now this music starts. Oh, there's a lighthouse. Dang. Oh, there's a tree. You came. I'm glad. Are you sure? Me too. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. That's okay. Say nothing. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? Yeah, I the think ones she's who were making out. Yeah, she's gonna say that's her dad. That was my dad. <laughs> the video really ended at that the baddest part. I'm sorry. Was definitely not my mom. Oh. Oh. The worst part is, <laughs> I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just. I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I thought I could catch him or something. That's why she took that's why I was there, huh? That's why she was I'm there. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. Oh, wow. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. Mm. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. The hitchhiking one? It's from Mount Hood. Yeah. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10, and it started raining, 
and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. Oh, that's I remember when you screaming like I was going to die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... Come for her, give her space. He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him. No one's safe. You trusted him. Completely. Here. What's that? Chloe, I owe you an apology. No, no, no. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome. And you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. Too? And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. More like blind desperation. <laughs> and maybe a slight buzz from that wine. I just want you to know I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? You saw that? Bro, stop mocking me. And douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a bottle to the face. Only yeah. because you showed up at the last minute and... Yeah, because you've seen see? that. You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. <laughs> I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom sure. might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... Punish bro back. I'm sorry, fuck him. Fuck your dad. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? What? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I You're came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Well, we would need a car, right? Okay. I don't think we're walking anywhere. This is the end of the episode. I mean, there's no way that 
Oh yeah, there's no way that I did. I'm stupid. Yo. That's the end. <laughs> Yo. Alright, this is actually crazy. I like this. I like this so far. So, I'm confused. Does Rachel have powers? You attacked, you ran. Oh, of course I attacked. 64% attacks? Oh, for sure. You were made to Joyce. I shouldn't have done that. That was bad. <laughs> You defended Nathan. 86% defended Nathan. No. You told Rachel you're more than friends. You told Rachel you're just friends. Oh, I told her definitely. I want to see this. I refresh. Oh. Alright, never mind. Oh. Oh. Shit. No one steals from me. What's that? I want my fucking money. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna have to download the game, I think, or install it. That was, um, Life is Straight Before the Storm, Episode 1, Awake. This game is actually really good. It was very emotional at some points, obviously. And I can't wait for the next episode, which will probably be tomorrow after school. Or Friday through Monday, because I have no school Friday through Monday. This coming Friday through Monday. And yeah, I think that's definitely like 100% where that like the next episode would be. But I will try getting one out tomorrow. And does Rachel have powers? Because she was screaming and like wind flew from behind her. Or that was just an effect, but she probably has powers, which is actually interesting to say the least. But this was Live Strange Before the Storm. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.